Monday, Monday. You guys are seeing this Tuesday, hopefully. If you don't see this Tuesday, it's because I didn't get to, I didn't get it to CJ in time, or Jason didn't get to CJ in time to edit it, but it's my fault. So hopefully you guys are seeing this Tuesday. Jason is gonna be moving on to greener pastures, either here at Fitness Culture, being just kind of the head of the videographer, videography department, creator, creative director. Direct, creative director. There is that word I was looking for or be starting his own company thing. Mm. <laughs> I, I like Jason, I want him to stick around. But what I need is to find somebody, somebody out there that is gonna complete me. The, I had to make sure the sound was on. See, I'm so bad with cameras. I need somebody here to babysit me. Somebody that's gonna be the you to my Q. Q and you are always together. So the you to my Q, somebody, who is going to want to put in all the hard work but give me all the credit. <laughs> I sound like an awful person. No, I'm kidding. Somebody like Ben, Benny and Yoon, they're, uh, here, let's roll some footage from them. And me and Benny became the subject of a rescue mission. They are coming straight this way. It's like a rescue boat. Really? And Benny got to try skis for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to risk our drone a bit. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> what? They're pretty solid too. They're like the dynamic duo. It's like Batman and Robin. I'm looking to somebody who's gonna help create content that loves telling a story. Three vlogs a week. Maybe we'll bump it up to four if things are going well. Um, but would want to be in St. George. If you're cool, maybe you could live with me one day. I don't know, it's, it's weird to like put that out on the internet. Hey, come live with me. Um, but you either need to live in St. George or this area or be willing to move here. And uh, I know it's gonna be, be fun, a lot of travel, but it's also pretty intense stuff, pretty stressful to always come up with YouTube videos. So yeah, there's that piece out of the way. I think we should get the second piece out of the way which is taking some pre-workout. We've been in the developmental stages of some supplement stuff. I don't want to get too detailed because there's still a lot up in the air. So that's to come. But right now we're going to go hit a summer sizzle workout, which is actually available to register for right now. We'll talk more about that later. But right now I'm taking 300 milligrams of caffeine straight into my veins and I'm going to go work out. All right. Road up here. What were we going to be doing today? These are going to be similar workouts to the summer sizzle, um, high volume. So we're starting off with our heavy compound movements like usual and then working some more of our isolation stuff some drop sets some rest pause stuff so we're utilizing some techniques to extend past failure uh, tons of techniques you can do for these two of my favorites for shoulders rest pause and drop sets they're going to be working into some arms finishing up with some occlusion band training for just an insane pump so we're going to get that going jake's over there today He's worried about what he said last time that you guys are holding it against them. Wait, what did I say? About the poops. <laughs> I didn't I didn't actually know that he said that until I watched the video back. I was dying. You guys always comment that the gym's empty. Yeah, it's empty. It's lunchtime. It's the middle of the day. Also, our gym has like 150 members. It's how we like it, okay? Yo, what you know about them fruity pebbles, huh? thing we're doing. You ready for it? Get ready for it. Seated, Swift Machine Press. We're gonna be doing, working heavy here. To get my legs to grow, I actually like higher reps, like 12, 15, I'm fine with that for my legs. Shoulders, especially anterior delts, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go fairly low. So eight reps for the first two, and then we're gonna get heavy, five, six. And then in the last two sets, we're gonna go rest pause. So I'm gonna try to knock out four, rack it, knock out two more, rack it, knock out two more with about 15 seconds break in there. So again, everything today, these last two two sets, we're gonna be doing varying intensity techniques that let us take it past failure um, without just the typical spotter helping out. So um, warm up, eight reps, eight reps, and then six, and then the last two, four to five, take a break, two, take a break, two.
ago in the NBA, guys didn't wear tights. Now I feel like Russell Westbrook. Oh, where do you guys think LeBron's going? I'll say this. Anyone that thinks LeBron James is the goat over Michael Jordan, probably more athletic, better passer, but if J.R. Smith made that decision, if Jordan played with him, my, 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 I don't know if J.R. Smith would have lived. But he was so intense, so intense. He was the coach of that team, not Phil Jackson. Like, he was the one that other players on his team were scared against. He had a cutthroat mentality. But his whole like mindset, approaching practice, approaching games, it's like that's the kind of mindset you need when you step in. Like your one focus when you step into the gym is to get better. If you don't have that single-mindedness, you're never gonna be great. All right, rest pause set here. <sighs> Gymshark's newest pieces. It is a sweat short that is a little bit tapered. It's my favorite sweat short that Gymshark has ever done. And that includes my Steve Cook line. These are better than that. Hot fire flames. See, it doesn't work when I do it to Jake, when I do it to Courtney. It's like a mating ritual. You get like your armpit sweat like going out to the universe. This one is repping oh my god, oh my god. If I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my god, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I know I, I know I been the most greatest blessing. Yes, sir. Jake wants me to ask you how you feel about my dancing. Hot fire flames. I just, I just don't exist. When I'm behind the camera, I'm not even a That's part of what's true, going on. That's not true, man. It's not fun, man. It's real. We want to get to know Jason here. Yeah. I see Jason on YouTube, and he's like, "Yo, what's up, my fools?" And like, talk some <laughs> to Jake. Yeah. Just go up I and punch that, him in his dude. balls. Go, Yo, this is J Dog. <laughs> <laughs> In that regards, Jason, you really should treat Jake like MJ. He's gonna ride your ass all season long unless you come in one day and just say, listen, I've had enough of your sh Okay, pass me the ball. Uh, we're doing lateral raises for Luke. Luke, you are actually a great role player. My man Stacy King. It's Courtney Stepta. He was he was a he was a great player. But everyone says MJ was in a bad mood. Look out. You know I'm tired when there's no dancing. Going like that, I hurt like a raptor. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Look at Jake's dance move over there. Rest pause is actually to make the set harder, not easier. You go to almost failure. You're, you know, 90, 90, 95% of failure. Then you rest, extend the set, rest, extend the set. Well, that way you're able to crank out, you know, 12 reps where if you went all out, you're just gonna get ones after that. So it's a way of extending the set. It's warm in here. If you don't like a warm gym, you check yourself. He's part of history. So 
know in the workout video I mentioned the six week summer sizzle and I wanna talk about a little bit more about that. It's $99 for six weeks. That's like, I wanna get that right out of the way. Um, it's, it's a price point that allows us to, our app is typically more money than that. So it's a way to kind of show people what we can offer. $99 for six weeks, um, really cheap when you think about if you had a personal trainer that was giving you macros, workouts, mobility, and support group. That's kind of everything you're getting in this with a chance to win a trip to Australia with Jake, myself, on a Active Escapes kind of week-long fitness boot camp vacation thing. So you can tell it looks, it's beautiful here in New South Australia. Got amazing beaches and we just hang out, we have a good time, we train. Like you said, the people from Active Escapes are amazing when it comes to putting on all of your meals, massages, yoga, doing everything. So that's what the winner is gonna get. But even if you're not doing this to win the competition, this is gonna get you into the best shape that you've been in in a long time, in time for summer. So six weeks, six days a week of working out. You have your macros, your cardio, you have your support group. And like I said, it's, it's kind of every week we'll be getting on there, kind of talking with people. It's a way to get people introduced to our app. And at the end of it, you'll have the option of opting into the app or you can not opt into the app. It's up to you guys, but I think this is a way for us really to show people, hey, you know, we're gonna give you a deal, 100 bucks for six weeks, check it out, you're not gonna be, it's about committing to something. So I've been kind of struggling the last, I would say a couple months with decision fatigue. And one of the things that's happened is my workouts have gotten crappy because what happens is I'm making so many other decisions throughout my day, throughout my life, big decisions. And when it comes to my workouts, unless I'm following something that just tells me what I need to be doing that day, what kind of macros I need, what I need to be doing for stretching, I don't, I don't really put as much effort into it. If I have to go in there and I have to think more, I have to make more decisions, then I just end up burning out and not wanting to do it. There's only so many decisions we can make in our day before that mental fatigue sets in and we just throw our hands up in the air and say, hey, where's that cheeseburger? Where's that cheeseburger? So it's about setting non-negotiables. And what I mean by non-negotiables is things that you're not willing to waver on. Like no matter what, your friends might all be out at a restaurant, but if one of your non-negotiables is I'm gonna track my macros, you're gonna order either something on the menu that allows you to do that or you're gonna bring your own food. So this, I've realized, is really the only way to do that. If you have non-negotiables and then you make a schedule around those non-negotiables, like if I have to work out every day, if that's like one of the most important things for me to do for my well-being, for my business, then I have to work out every day at the same time and I need to follow a program that I don't have to think about. Now it's automated, now it's habitual. I'm doing it every single day, just like brushing your teeth. You don't have to think about brushing your teeth at the end of the day because you've done it for however long you've been alive. Now when we were two or three, parents had to make this do that until we got into the habit of just, we don't think about it, it doesn't take self-control. That doesn't play into decision making because you don't have to think about it, you just do it. That's what we want to start creating, or that's what I wanna start creating in my life, is creating these habits where I can follow the app. I can scroll in the app and I see my workouts for the day. I see my macros for the day. I don't have to think about, okay, what are my macros for the day? It's boom, it's right there. I know I'm gonna eat 225 grams of protein, I'm gonna be carb cycling 300 to 350 grams of carbs, and I'm gonna get usually between you know, 75 to 85 grams of fat. I don't have to think about that. And then on top of it, then I'm creating the next step I wanna to go to, if I'm getting serious, I'm going to meal prep. Now, if I'm not as serious and I can be a little bit more lenient, I can pretty much fit my macros because I've counted macros long enough, I know what I'm doing. But if you're new to this game, it's so nice to have your macros laid out for you and even kind of a customized meal, you know, a meal plan for you. So this is something that, you know, through this six week shred, we wanna start giving you guys this almost like, again, it's not really about the money, because $99, I venture to say, you'll probably make back that $99 and not eating out. Like I know between the Starbucks run in the morning, this is $5.45, um, and then if I stop at Chick-fil-A, if I stop and get pizza, you will spend less money, I think, you'll make back that $99 in the next six weeks if you grocery shop and meal prep and you don't go out to eat. That way when big decisions, things that require your decision, mental power, your, your mental capacity, you, these decisions that you need to focus on, you have the ability to do that. And everything else is just, 
it's on autopilot pretty much. Now your workouts are on, like your intensity isn't on autopilot, but you don't have to think about what you're training that day, the cardio you're gonna do, the food you're gonna eat, the foam rolling you're gonna do. It's all right there for you. And then you're able to be more productive in your life. So again, if you've thought about doing something like this, this is, in a, you know, this is access to our premium membership app that we are giving people for the six months or six weeks. Um, so give it a go. I guarantee you guys it'll be a fun thing. We're gonna all get on there into the, the social media group. And then, like I said, we're gonna pick a winner. There's some other prizes, grand prize. You know, we're not looking for someone who necessarily looks just insanely shredded. You know, great transformations are a key and a must, but it's also about people that have been active in the group or people that just, you know, have a good story and somebody that, you know, I think that is putting everything that they have into this, you know. So this this kind of the shred is for anyone looking to lose body fat in the next six weeks. So check it out and hopefully we'll see you in Australia. And even if you don't win, but you wanna to go to Australia, you can. Go to Active Escapes. Um, we're the Noosa Active Escapes, September 4th, if you wanna join myself and Jake. And then winners from our last shred, Brandon Dahlstrom, congrats, he won our last 21 day shred, which was a couple months ago, and then the winner of this one. So check it all out, go to the link in the description, and uh, if you have any questions, you can hit me up, or you know there is a frequently asked section on there. Um, but always, always, always feel free to ask me questions on my social media. Hopefully, we'll see you in the six week summer sizzle challenge. Thanks guys.